You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodriance for Black and White Sports. We are just a few short weeks away from the return of the Marxist NBA of China. Now, of course, all of their fans will tell you how the NBA had this brave, stunning, and courageous comeback last year, but yet they really and truly had three good games with good ratings. Three. That's right. Outlier games. Complete outlier games. Perfect storm kind of games coming together to give them, honestly, good ratings for 2020-2021, but compared to 2019, those good ratings still sucked. Okay, uh, so the league hasn't bounced back. It's not, it's not made this courageous return. However, the league that we love to further destroy because of their loyalties to China and Marxism is coming back in a few short weeks. And Skip Bayless has, <laughs> he never takes a break. The man with the drip never takes a break from undisputed. He will never leave Le China James, LeBron James alone. Ever. He will never leave him alone. And we are going to get to that in just one second. Very quickly, I'm wearing our Defund the Athletes Robo Letters shirt. You can get this bad boy out of the merch store today and tomorrow only. Our biggest discount ever promo code FU Biden, FU Biden, all one word, for 26% off this shirt or any other shirt. In the merch store, that's the exact one I'm wearing. LeBron James isn't even in the stratosphere as Kevin Durant. Skip Bayless dishes more disrespect towards King James. Okay. As, as list for MVP odds for 21-22 season gets out. Oh, LeBron might need a cane by the time he gets through this season. He's getting so old. Fox Sports 1 analyst Skip Bayless takes another shot at LeBron James compares the King with Kevin Durant and calls them leagues apart. I, I don't think that's a big stretch by uh, Skip Bayless in the least. The NBA season is less than a month away. I think Stephen A. Smith has even come out and said he thinks Kevin Durant's the best player. On, a, on the very first day, we will see a mammoth clash between the Bucks and the Nets, followed by the Warriors and the Lakers. With the kind of changes both the Nets and the Lakers have made, they skyrocketed their chances to win it all this season. Did they? Did they? With the addition of Russell <laughs> Russell Westbrook? Is that a joke? Okay. There have been a lot of debates regarding which team is better, and we may see some questions answered when they actually get on the court. Till then, we will rely on public polls and opinions. Recently, a poll calculated the MVP and title chances for various players and teams. Kevin Durant topped the charts, whereas LeBron James ranked number seven on the MVP odds. So, Skip Bayless takes another dig at LeBron, hypes up Kevin Durant. And, of course, this media site has to hype up James, a 17-time All-Star and four-time NBA champion, four-time MVP. Kevin Durant is still considered one of the best players in the league as a major achievement of its own. Kevin Durant, on the other hand, looks deadlier than ever since he's returned from his Achilles injury. After the poll results came out, Skip Bayless made sure he brought it up on Undisputed. He reiterated and called Kevin Durant the best player in the world while claiming LBJ is not even in the same stratosphere. All I know is what I've been saying for three years. Kevin Durant is the best player on the planet. He ran away with the MVP calculations. And if Kawhi was halfway healthy, he'd be ranked above LeBron. And he goes on to talk about they talked about it more on Undisputed. While all this Durant appreciation is understandable, there's no reason to bring LBJ uh, down while doing so. James is a top five player. Is he? Is LeBron James uh, still a top five player? LeBron, LeWoke, LeChina, LeBronda. Uh, I wonder about that. At his age, we've seen him start having those injuries mounting up. Um, I wonder, okay? And this super team, I hate it. 
Okay, I hate this team that he put together. I cannot believe out of all the players that he tried to recruit, because that's what he does, he can't go out there and win a title on his own or with maybe one other guy that was drafted by the club. Look, how many legitimate title, titles does LeBron really have? Um, the one in Cleveland with Kyrie that was drafted by the Cleveland Cavaliers. So he's got one championship. Gotcha. Okay, um, so I, I don't like super teams, guys. Uh, I think teams should grow organically, and I don't think players should be general managers. Okay, I just don't. That should be le left up to general managers. They also should not be picking their head coaches and getting them all fired. Yeah, LeBron. Anyway, so uh, I don't like this team they put together. I mean, Russell Westbrook, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, there's only one ball on the court, okay? And Russell Wilson is one of the biggest ball hogs ever. I mean, and is his head even going to be in the game? I mean, after wearing that skirt down the street, going to that whatever it was? I mean, we're talking killer instinct here, aren't we? Now we know why Russell Westbrook hadn't won anything. That killer instinct just quite ain't there. Look, LeBron is trying to add to his legacy because he thinks if he drags uh, Russell Westbrook into a championship, it will further cement his legacy. What legacy is that exactly? You're never catching Michael Jordan. Okay? You're never catching. In my opinion, LeBron James's legacy is written. It's a wrap. It's over. And Skip Bayless tells us what I think a lot of us think right now. Kevin Durant is the best player in the league, I think. I believe Stephen A. Smith has said it. Skip Bayless has said it. But I think Kevin Durant is, is the best player in the league. I think he actually showed it, believe it or not. Part of it was at the Olympics, which is shocking, but he did nonetheless. And if I have to look at a team, if I have to pick a team, I'd pick the Nets right now, although I've got my reservations about James Harden ever winning a title. He's kind of cut out of the same mold as Russell Westbrook, if you ask me. But I do think Harden's a better player. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. We're just a few short weeks to going all in on that ass in the NBA. We're going to tear them up for another seven months. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.